Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done a vlog, and the last time I did a vlog I was pretty um, upset and uh, really, really did a lot of crying, but um, this one, um, I'm giving an update about uh, my first uh, infusion of Intivio after my horrific um, anaphylaxis reaction to Remicade. Uh, my doctor, my Crohn's disease doctor, has now put me on uh, Intivio infusions, and um, I had my first one yesterday. And uh, it only takes 30 minutes to do this infusion, unlike Remicade that took about four or five hours. So that's good. Um, I didn't have any kind of reaction. Didn't really. Um, I had some weird feelings last night. Not sure what was going on. Not sure if it was the Crohn's, not sure what. Um, so I just spent another night with my grandparents instead of going home because there's more people here that can watch me. My dad lives next door, so um, and if someone something would happen with me at my house, it'd just be Jeremy trying to take care of me. So um but I had a horrific night last night. Um the Crohn's is just literally eating me alive um i'm just uh in excruciating pain all the time and um i've been referred to a pain management specialist now that um deals with crohn's patients pain to see if i can get some help if the intivio infusions don't work um this intivio is my ninth crohn's medication in four years that ha has been tried on me <coughs> and um I don't know. I really don't have any faith in medicine, but I have faith in God that, you know, he can make the medicine work and work for me and, um, help me get into remission. Um, in nine years of fighting this disease, I have only been in remission one year and I don't even think it was a full year. I think it was maybe nine or 10 months. And then I got sick again. So, um, I'm just trying to hang in there and make it through. Um, I, I had no sleep last night. Uh, I was up. I was in excruciating pain. And no amount of medication. It just, you know, it has to pass. I literally have to pass <laughs> the stuff to get it to stop hurting. So um, I suffered through all night. I was up and down from 2.50 in the morning until, and I just, nine nine out of ten pain. There was no um, comforting it, no getting, you know, managing it, just suffering through and sleeping when I could. And, uh, now my pain level's gone down to about a six out of 10. So I'm just hoping and praying it continues to go down and nothing, um, worse happens today. Um, I'm going home today, hopefully, and, uh, spend the weekend with my husband and, um, hopefully we can, uh, Enjoy the rest of the weekend at home and just rest. I just I just don't get any sleep right now. So um, I'm trying to continue playing my music when I can play the piano and just keep up my practicing because it really sometimes is the only thing that comforts me. And um, getting getting an idea for some a, a new original song and. Uh, and uh, I'm also looking into getting all my songs copyrighted, all my original work, so then I can start um, selling them for like 99 cents a song on our on my page and and everything. And I, you know, try to still live my dream, um, even though I can't get out of the house right now. And but at least I'm um, trying to get my music still out there. I mean, I've I've got like 17 original songs I've written over the past um, 10 years, and, uh, I really, you know, want people to hear them, so, but that's what I'm working on, in spite of everything, I can't really do much else, I'm just literally, literally laying in bed most of the day, or sitting in a chair, just trying to, um, just not give up, and just, uh, keep finding this disease until either the medicine works, or they find something else that can help, or, I go to surgery and 
they're going to start cutting me. I don't know. I really don't know what the future holds, but I know God is in control, and he's going to take care of me like he always has. And thank you all, friends and family. I love you, and um, I'll see you guys on Facebook. I'll see you in person. I'll talk to you on the phone later. I love you guys. Bye-bye.